Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross video, the second video for year 2022. So if you guys missed out on the last few videos, especially for the January review events video, and of course, um, Mikumo's Yami Kure costume gacha video, please make sure to check those out to keep yourself updated, especially with all the missions, the Nyan Ma Nyan Nyan Matsuri events that's going on and all the other stuff that you need to clear if you want to gain all the free stuff that they are giving out for the New Year's events uh, especially for free to play players because these tickets, these um, money packets are very very important since you won't be able to gain more from buying the discounted singing stone packs from the uh, I guess the app store so anyways um, let's dive into the gacha page straight away because I don't have to cover anything brand new regarding the missions but there is something that I forgot to mention um, on the previous video because uh, I kind of overlooked it <laughs> until I went to check out the banner information again so let's talk about it so first thing off yes we are talking about the um, reissuing of 6 star, 7 star episode plates uh, of course uh, they, each banner comes with two different divas so what's so special about this um, gacha banners well technically aside from the fact that they are step up gachas um, the main issue is is that at certain steps step 4, step 5 you are guaranteed a copy of a 6 star episode plate so it can be either one of the featured divas on that banner but the problem is to get to step 4 and step 5 you're gonna have to spend almost 2500 singing stones per banner so that's a lot of money involved so for those of you who are fans of certain divas or even basara um, like we said in the previous video, Basara has the most powerful 7 star episode plate in terms of stats right now. Um, and of course, you have to consider the fact that maybe some of these episode plates you are missing from your collection um, because maybe you don't have a 7 star episode plate to cover that series that the Macross franchise is from or rather the Diva is from. Um, and Maybe you're trying to unlock your waifu's costume, so this is probably the best chance you can probably get an episode plate um, for your waifu or maybe a costume from missing from your collection, especially if you're trying to collect the full Mirai on set, which is technically locked behind entirely 7-star um, episode plates, so that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> um... So yeah, so think carefully, that's a lot of singing stones. If you can afford to buy more discounted packs, uh, aside from the 10,000 yen ones that I usually recommend, you can purchase more of them. Um, and you know, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully get the 7 star episode plate that you want. I can't believe that's the first time I use Singlish in this <laughs> video of mine. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so let's talk about Makina's Yami Kure costume episode plate because that's what we're here for. So first things first, 4,270 total score uh, at its plus 25 luck value. Without the luck, it comes in at 4,020 which is technically one point higher than Yami Kure or a Yami uh, Kumo's episode plate so it's kind of a thing now where the second episode plate featured for any event it usually ends up being more powerful um, so yeah just take note of that even though like we said in uh, Yami Kumo's um, video these episode plates are kind of a new generation episode plate of 7 stars so their total scores aren't exactly very high either considering that Basara's best episode plate is like the 4100 range of total score without its plus 25 luck value so consider that anyways um, let's talk about the rest of the episode plate so 
Um, pay attention to the three other divas that can use this episode plate. Ooh, Ranka is included. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so this episode plate features everything on charm. So voice takes an extremely deep dive, while so still suffers greatly as well. So this is one of those first few seven star episode plates that really boosts the main stat that requires from certain songs. Um, it was kind of expected that Makina's episode play would be a pink series considering that the event that's going on right now only features blue and pink songs. So that's kind of expected. Anyway, center scale as usual for any 7 star episode play, if you use the episode play on its featured Macross series that the diva is from, of course you will get that double S rank center skill. So yeah, unit's boost is 150% up for this charm stat. So just like its uh, main stats on the episode plate itself, it's gonna get a great boost in that factor and it's gonna help you gain extremely good high scores for songs that only require the charm stat to give you good scoring. Alright, moving along. Active skill, same as all the 7 stars, but recently we've been getting episode plates like this. So Makina's episode plate comes in with one of the rare few that comes with a combo bonus active skill. So if you have no idea how combo bonus works, it's basically just um, accumulate as many combos as you can, you know, and when this active skill activates, you'll get that percentage boost for every 50 combos accumulated. So that's pretty fantastic. And of course, if you get this episode plate powered up to its 7 star form, you get to activate this active skill twice. Life skill. So it's for a short, short duration song um, score up. So at the 55 second mark for 10 seconds, you get that 20% boost in score. As usual, 7 star episode plates are not worthy for their life skills. They are not there to support. Uh, although they do have great stats, but you know, there are seven or there, there are six star episode plates out there that can do better than seven star episode plates in terms of life skill supports. All right, and here we go. The final page is this one of those seven star episode plates that come with special notes attached to it. Oh my goodness, it is. <laughs> and okay, it's the first of its kind. So we haven't seen any 7 star episode plates that actually give the healing note. So this is pretty rare. So is this episode plate actually worth the money? Well, considering that it already beats Mikumo's um, total stat count by a single point. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Uh, even if you're not Makina fans, uh, generic Utame Cross players, um, and maybe if you're a fan of Kaname, Ranka, Milane, this episode plate has no doubt about it to be a must get. Even if you are not a fan of any of the divas that can use this episode plate, you know, it is a must get for generic Utame Cross players because it gives a good active skill and it comes with a decent total score and of course. It comes with a special note attached to it. So events like um, that do more damage when you miss notes. This active, this or rather this seven star episode play is definitely going to help you survive a bit longer, considering that it has a healing note attached to it. So when you see notes with hearts on it, it recovers your HP. So that's fantastic. So no doubt about it. Makina's episode plate is definitely one of those plates that you must attain. It is one of the rare few 7 star episode plates that actually has special note attachments. So without that, um, you know, doubtful decision making I have just decided for you, where should you be tossing your singing stones? Well, if you're looking to unlock your old waifu's costumes, uh, and of course if you have the singing stones for it, do take note like I said. You need 2,500 singing stones at least for each banner for these returning banners. It's gonna be a hefty amount compared to the amounts that you probably might be using to attain a brand new 7 star episode plate. And of course, it gives you also a chance to maybe attain some of the older 7 star plates. Don't forget that, you know, each new banner that appears, the 7 star episode plates from the past 
are all actually inside here. <laughs> so, um, weigh your options, and of course, the amount of money you can toss in, and of course, for free to play players, consider, think hard. Is it for your waifu or is it for the benefit of your future gameplay? Choose the banners wisely. So anyways, let's do this. We're gonna dive in with the free daily pool first as usual. This is the afternoon session. Oh, no loading at all? Okay, have we used up all the luck already on the first day of New Year? <laughs> oh god. We go. So how rare is this common plate? Oh, pretty rare. Since considering that I don't have double digits of it. That's fantastic. Okay, so as usual, we're gonna do some more super dimension pools because um just got a buttload of tickets standing around due to all the recent events. You know, might as well use it and try and flush the good luck out. So the next one that's gonna expire. It's 6th of January, so yeah, that's not too bad. So let's use 10 pieces right here. Okay, in somewhat of a decent load speed. Of course, the main thing is we don't want to see good luck appearing in this gacha pool. Uh, it's mediocre luck. It's 3 Valkyries, so we should get at least 1 or 2 red boxes. There we go. But I don't expect any of them to evolve, so that's fantastic. We can reserve the luck for the main banners itself. So, now considering that we didn't get the Mikumo episode played in the last video, hopefully we'll get Makinas. At least we get one episode played to sustain the bonus factor for the month. And of course, I can strike off one more costume <laughs> off the list to attain. Oh, wow, didn't expect to see a new episode plate. Okay, progression with some of the older ones. So that's not too bad. Ooh. Wow, I've got enough costume points to unlock this costume on Mikumos now. Oh, that's fantastic. So like I said, pro any progression is good progression, even though it is not fantastic episode plates, but at least you're moving your game forward. You get more costumes for live performances and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Great minimal ways to enjoy the game. Alright, so guaranteed seven uh, five star episode plate. I wish there was a guaranteed seven star episode plate, gacha, but no, there will never be a thing. <laughs> Maybe yet, if they ever introduce eight star episode plates. Who knows? Alright, so let's do the 10 free pools every day. Hopefully you guys have been pulling this. Of course, so far, for me, I've not been getting any good luck from these gacha pools, which is also okay. You know, it's free after all, and you don't really want to use the good luck on this kind of banners. So sometimes, having free stuff is kind of a double-edged sword. <laughs> well, sword. Depends on how you want to pronounce it. The English manner is actually pronounced with a silent W, so it's sword. Anyways, enough of English lectures. Let's move on. Yep, all the common stuff. Give me all the common stuff. And leave all the rare stuff for the main feature banners. Here we go. Yep, so three days in a row. Nothing fantastic from the free template pool banners. Which is fine. I'm glad. Alright, here we go. Let's dive into the main thing. But first, we'll do the free pull from the new banner. Before we move on to the yummy, tasty stuff. So I'm not sure why they arranged it like this. The Step Up Gacha is at the top and the main regular banner is like at the bottom. <laughs> it's just very confusing. Can't they just put it together? Okay, here we go. Oh, we're getting some Valkyrie animations from the free pool. Uh, but don't expect too much since it's a single Valkyrie. Okay. Alright, how rare is this thing? Ah, uh, decently rare. Okay, so we've got quite a bit to pull. 
I'm going to do this step up gacha for Makina's banner as well. Plus, I do have my subscription tickets to use. So, why not make use of it for a very important 7 star episode plate. So, let's do the 10 plate pool first with the subscription tickets. Before we do the step up. Can you imagine if we actually pull out Makina's episode plate from this? I can actually save my singing stones for other things. <laughs> that would be fantastic. One, two, three. Okay, so we get average luck with this pool. Oh, rainbow box on the first bling. Ooh, three red boxes. Let's see whether the New Year's luck carries on. No evolution. Oh, Maki Maki's New Year costume. That's pretty rare. Okay. Second red box. No evolution as well. And we get the love pairing, Maki Ray. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Solidifying that fact. <laughs> oh, wow! More copies. That's fantastic. Okay, Maki Maso Insham Love. Here we go. Oh, no evolution. Oh! Fantastic! We're getting more secret bots unlocked for this very wonderful Ray Ray episode plate. So I'm, I'm very happy for this, even though it's not a 7 star plate or 6 star plate, but you know. It's good, you know. A special note attached episode plate getting more luck. That's fantastic news. Alright. So we're gonna have to dive into the step up gacha now. We, if we do have singing stones on hand left over, we probably would do the discounted template pool as well. But for now, let's do this step up gacha. Okay, so regular rate at a discounted price. Hmm. Didn't see any loading bar. So that's, oh no, that's not good. But you know, it's a regular rate pool, so on red box. Okay. Let's just skip through all this. This pool is definitely down the drain. Mm -hmm. Alright, as expected. Uh, pretty uncommon Makina plate. Don't see it very often as well. Okay. Let's move on. So we have step 2, so step 2, it gives us a better rate, but of course at a 500 singing stone cost. There you go. Hopefully something nice appears. Oh, there's no load bar again. Oh no, have we used up all the luck for the year? It wasn't really lucky at all in, on the first day of January as well. <laughs> what is going on? Oh no. We still only have one red box. Well, at least the next step there is at least a guaranteed 5 star and above. But still, it might retain as a 5 star if it's a plate, so it's kind of a bummer. Alright. Yeah, not a pretty rare Reyna plate. So, I don't know. Two pulls down the drain. Kind of painful. Well, well. Alright, see. We are on step 3. Guaranteed 5 star and above. Hmm. This is not looking good. Load bar. At least let me see five Valkyries, please. One. Oh no. Not even a golden op. What's with today's luck? Ooh, okay, there we go. Let guarantee rainbow box. But still, will it evolve? I highly doubt. Oh, what? Okay. It's Something, but you know, it's not a fantastic plate for Cheryl. 
Hmm. Will we see the golden box evolve? Please let it evolve. Here we go. Aww. Okay. So we get two very old episode plates. At least, at least the shadow plate isn't that horrible. I've been using it somewhat, uh, kind of. You know, considering it has score and damage as its life skills, so it's decent, but not the best. Like I said. Hmm. All right. So we're on the last step. Hopefully, we get something decent out of it. And maybe if you, if I want to, I can dive into the um, tech discounted plate pool. Hmm. So, I don't know. So, anyways, pay attention to the expiring dates of the um, returning plate gachas. Uh, yeah, it's going to disappear on the 7th of January, so that's 5 days from now. If you can actually try and dig singing stones from <laughs> wherever place that you can get them from. <laughs> Hopefully, you can get something nice out of it. So, let's do this. Oh boy, this is not looking good. So December was horrible, well we did pull out a 6 star episode plate, but still, it's nothing fantastic, but eh. Oh no. What's with today? Oh come on. And no evolution. Alright, more copies of this episode plate. I can't complain. It is pretty rare. I guess since it only appears once a year maybe. And very rarely in the rest of the year. <laughs> okay. I guess we're gonna have to do the regular discounted pool. I mean, I do have 2,500 singing stones on hand. I could just go for... An episode plate that I don't have. It is definitely guaranteed. So at least it'll be something nice to watch. But it's just which episode plate should I go for? Um, let me just look at my backlog of seven star plates that I've yet to attain. Mm, let's see from what they have featured. Oh, I definitely would want Makina's Mirayon costume. Um, so that's pretty fantastic. I need Ray Ray's Mirai On costume as well, but I don't think it's featured. Mikumo's Mirai On costume is not also needed. So there's three Mirai On costumes I'm short of. So let's see. Kumo. I do have Kaname's already, so I don't have to pull that. Um, I don't have this costume of Reina, so that would be nice. And Ramka's episode play isn't bad either. So, considering that Ranka's episode plate actually gives the special note attachment, so that's one thing to consider as well. Um, yeah, so I do have both episode plates of Makina and Relane. I have both Reina and Basaras, I know Kaname's and Basaras. Uh, Kumo and Cheryl, I do have as well. Yeah, this one also comes with a special note attachment, so that's pretty fantastic. I have Freya's Mirai on costume as well, so I don't really need to pull these. Well, maybe except Reyna's banner. Oh man, this is a really hard decision. Oh, should I? Or should I just go for Makina? I'm gonna go with Makina. <laughs> Here we go. It would have been nice if the rest of the Mirayon costumes were there in the featured banners, but you know, it's not there, so let's just leave it for another time. One, two, three. Oh, we are finally getting five Valkyries. Okay, rainbow box on the first bling. Two rainbow boxes, so that's nice. Hopefully, this banner pool is gonna redeem 
the horrible things that we've gotten so far. Okay, and a pretty old episode plate of Machina for Halloween. Mm, nothing fantastic out of it, you know, except for costume points. Oh. Oh, it didn't evolve. Oh, this is not too bad. This episode plate of Mikumo is pretty decent. So that's not too bad. No evolution? Oh. Okay. We do have more singing stones on hand. Technically, I could continue to pull. Yeah, I just got to remember to save some singing stones for the rest of the month. There's gonna be another one, four more gachas. So that's like 1,200 singing stones at least. So I can pull at least one more time. <laughs> gotta save singing stones for the rest of the month. Okay, so one last pull, regular rate from the regular banner. This is so expensive. Uh, here we go. Wait, let me just double check the rates on this. Okay, so the first step is definitely expensive and is the regular rate. Step 2, step 3 is 5 star guaranteed. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna go with Makina. I have faith in you, Maki Maki. Please don't let me down. Oh god. I, I, I'm putting myself in such a horrible position. Oh, load bars. This is so nerve wracking. 1, 2, 3. Oh god, regular rate. Okay, it's gonna be a flop. Why is with the luck? It's like only the first of January is giving good luck. Oh, evolution. Oh, we did it evolve further. Okay, more of this episode played. And that is it. <laughs> oh god, what is with the luck? This is just horrible. December was kind of a flop. January is technically a flop. Even for my New Year's Day pool, I didn't get anything that extremely fantastic either. This is not looking good. <laughs> Well, considering that the amount of people that have been posting that they got Mikumo and Makina's plate on Twitter is kind of low as well. I, I, I don't know. I think I think Dana actually set it up to be a lot harder to appear. Uh, considering that they are giving quite a bit of free stuff and discounted stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe it might be a marketing ploy, but... You know, that is just speculation. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about everything down below, especially for your own pools. Did you manage to get Mikumo's episode played, Makina's episode played, or maybe even any other of the past 7-star episode plates within the first few days of the year? I would like to see how the rates are. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, think wisely where you want to toss your singing stones and your physical cash into considering that each of the returning banners with the 7 star plates that guarantees you 6 star episode plates at step 4 and step 5 at a cost of 2,500 singing stones it's, it's a lot of money but think hard anyway guys that's it I wish you guys all the best as always and thank you guys so much for all the responses in the last video uh, a lot of you guys sent comments in the last video uh, you know, appreciating my content uh, I really appreciate you guys especially and and yeah the last video actually did a lot better in terms of watch time uh, even though it, a lot of you didn't really watch through the entire video but it, I can see there's some improvements you guys didn't skip the entire thing like usually do but you know I'm grateful very very grateful as usual guys do all the wonderful stuff like share subscribe and I'll see you guys 
in the next video soon. Uh, I'm definitely returning with all the gameplay stuff, um, you know, aside from Ultimate Cross. So, I look forward to that. Bye!